my name is Laurel and I'm a librarian here at Tempe Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make newspaper starter pots for your seeds when you're first planting them. These little pots are super easy to make. They're free if you have newspaper lying around or if you get some in the mail. And they're also compostable so when you plant the seeds you can actually just leave them in here when you plant them in the ground. Or if you want to take them out you can just unwrap them so it doesn't disturb the roots of the plant. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, so like I said, you're not gonna even need very many things in order to make these little pots. All you're gonna need is obviously newspaper. You're going to need something tube shaped like this tacky glue. You could also use a little can, like one for tomato paste, like a little six ounce can. You could use jars or spice bottles, anything that's around just to wrap it around it. So we have the shape. You're also gonna need scissors because we're gonna wanna cut our newspaper into strips so that it's the right size. And at the very end, when you're ready to plant, of course, you're gonna need your soil and some seeds. But let's go ahead and just make the pots. So when you start with your newspaper, you're gonna want just a couple of pages. So you just have two pages right here, locked over each other, and then you have it folded so that it's actually four pages deep. You're gonna wanna make sure you're using the actual newspaper not the shiny ad parts or any of that shiny magazine-like paper because that's not compostable. So we want to make sure we're going to stick with this actual newspaper. So once you're ready, what you're going to do is you're going to cut your paper into thirds long ways. So what I like to do, because I cannot cut straight freehand, is I like to be able to fold these into thirds first. So what I do is I just fold it into thirds, kind of like a letter. And I make sure it lines up and then I just crease the whole thing. And that's just gonna give me lines to follow when I cut it. So this part's not nece necessary. If you just wanna freehand it and just cut it into thirds, go ahead. Or if you want a taller or shorter pot, you can do that too. But now I have these nice lines so that I can see where I'm going to cut. So I'll just follow those as closely as I can, but in the end it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So to start this is going to make us this two pages of newspaper, these are going to make us three pots. Okay. So we have our three different segments. We're just gonna set two aside for now. And we're just gonna use one segment. So this segment, you should have four pieces of paper in it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your paper is all lined up and straight on each other. And then you're gonna use your jar or your can, or in this case, tacky glue. And we're just going to wrap it. So you're going to want to make sure you have an inch or two at the bottom and you're just going to want to wrap. So you're just going to want to roll whatever you're using straight over the newspaper. Keeping it as straight as possible. And then just hold the end so it doesn't come unwrapped. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to fold in these parts to make the bottom. Kind of crease them there. What I also like to do is then flip it over and put it against the table and press it hard against the table just to give it extra crease. You'll see that it still wants to come undone and that's totally fine. Once you put soil in these, it's in the moisture of the soil with the water, it's going to help hold it. So don't worry if it tries to pop out. Then what you're gonna do, once again, press it up against the table. We're just gonna pull out our jar or our glue. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold in the top just a little bit. And this is just gonna help keep it together a little bit more so it doesn't unroll. So just fold in the top, kind of just pinch it even. Doesn't really have to be a perfect fold. Okay. 
So that will just keep this top bit from unrolling all the way. And that's actually all you have to do. Then you can just fill it with soil and plant your seed. As I said, we don't have to worry about that coming undone there because once you put soil in it, like this one, see this one is not coming undone. There might be a hole at the very bottom. I'll show you on a different one. And that's okay too. Um, when you plant it, some soil might come out, but that's just gonna add extra drainage as well. And that's good for your seeds. So here's one that I just filled with a little bit of soil and the bottom holds true now that that's in there. And then of course you can just plant whatever seeds are in season or whatever ones you want to start seed, um, planting for now. Right, so that's how you make your seed starter pots that are compostable. So when you're ready, um, you just plant your seed into your soil. You wait about two to four weeks depending on what seed you have and then you can just plant this right into your garden. Or if you're not wanting to use the newspaper, you can always just peel this off like I said before and then that will help not disturb the roots as you plant it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe.